Hello, we're back again. In the last video, you'll remember that I said that I had a part two. I couldn't get my hands on dark chocolate, and to be honest, even if I could, it would have been too bitter for me. I'm sure that it's a fine drink and somebody out there would have enjoyed it, but I would have pretty much been wasting my time and money just to tell you that, yeah, not my cup of coffee. But Momo's husband, me, it's his recipe, and he's the one who suggested dark or dark chocolate. But I had another genius idea. I wanted to use white chocolate. Simply because it's not a real chocolate, and I'll be the first to admit that. But I was also thinking that it was kind of cheating. I mean, just because it has chocolate in the name doesn't make it real chocolate. So what on earth could I do to keep the spirit of the drink alive, but still make a delicious drink with its own distinct flavor? Well, luckily for me, Hershey's already has the answer because they have a cookies and cream candy bar. It's made with white chocolate, but it has a lot of really small bits of crispy dark chocolate cookie in it. Now to me these are much more in line with a chocolate chip than the actual chocolate chips because these actually crunch when you eat them. But aside from this little change, the recipe is essentially the same. Break off a sizable piece of a candy bar and put it in a cup. You add in your syrup, then that dark blended coffee. Nice and hot so the candy melts. Give it a stir with the syrup and add in the steamed cream or milk. No additional sugar goes in because you don't need it. All of your sweetener comes from the candy and the syrup. Keep those fingers. Now, what sets this apart from the other drink that we did is the fact that in this, those little chocolate chips, the crisps of cookie, they rise to the top of the drink and float on the surface. It still looks pretty much like your standard cup of coffee with creamer in it. If you choose to do that, you can do it without. And it doesn't smell different either, which I keep finding kind of strange. I think I figured that this would make it smell slightly different, but it didn't. But the taste, that's a completely different story. There's not as much of the syrup flavor in. And this is actually, to my surprise, much less sweet than the milk chocolate version. But it still has a very good flavor. And a part of the reason why it's not as sweet is because the bits of cookie that are in the candy bar are actually relatively dark and somewhat bitter. And that does a whole lot to sort of tone down the sweetness from the white chocolate and the syrup. Now those things are still there, very much so, but it means that you're tasting them for their flavor and you're not being beat over the head with how sweet they are, which is very, very important. Now, there are a few downsides to this drink. Um, while drinking it, when it's first made, it's really, really delicious. In fact, it might be one of my new favorite ways to make coffee. But these are, unfortunately, real bits of cookie, meaning that as they absorb that moisture, They start to lose that crunch, and then if they sit in that moisture even longer, they start to slightly dissolve and get a little bit soggy. They'll start to sink to the bottom of your cup. I'm a person who cares a whole lot about texture, so even though the drink stayed delicious, when I got a bit of that soggy cookie 
in my mouth, I was like, hmm, this is really good. I'm going to spit this out now. Just because of how slowly I was drinking the coffee. Now keep in mind I've made this a few times at the time of this recording. Um, the faster that I was able to drink it before those chunks of cookie got to that point, the better things were. But trying to take things slow or even forgetting about it was not so pleasant. Even though, like I said, the drink retains its flavor and it's still very delicious, if you're the type of person who cares a lot about texture or if you don't like having bits of solid in your drink, then probably not for you. But that being said, I still highly, highly recommend it because the flavor is just that good. I can most definitely see this being a fairly popular drink in a cafe. And if you have a cafe, you might want to consider putting this on the menu. Assuming, of course, you can get your hands on the, um, the candy bar. Wink, wink. Wink, wink, if you own a cafe. Aside from that, I think that I'm coming around to the idea of putting syrup in coffee, which is something that I most definitely never thought I was going to say. But that's going to do it for me. Have you ever had a Hershey's Cookies and Cream Candy Bar? Did you like it? Are you a fan of white chocolate, or do you prefer the traditional milk chocolate or dark chocolate? Let me know down in the comments below. Especially if this is a drink that you would try, or not try. We all have different tastes. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in another video. I don't know when the next coffee video is going to be, because I don't come across new ideas like this all, all the time. But. These two were definitely worth drinking coffee in this 100 plus degree weather. But anyway, that's enough of me. See you guys later.